Hi everyone, and welcome to today's session of BIMCO Bytes, where we're going to be looking at the reviews feature in Autodesk Construction Cloud. Um, this is a tool that allows you to create, manage, and record approval workflows for a huge range of tasks on your project. Um, so reviews can range from coordination of column positions between the architect and, stru and structural engineer, um, to the approval of finishes between client and architect. Um, to, in order to illustrate this um, today, I'm going to uh, set up a basic joinery shop drawing approval process. Um, so however, before any documents can be submitted for review, the first process is to create what's called an approval workflow. Um, this is done within the web interface of the Autodesk Construction Cloud. Uh, so let's pop into that now. Um, so this is the web interface of the project that we're looking at here. Um, now, in order to create a, an, a, uh, an approval workflow, um, we go up to the, um, the settings button here. Now, you need to be a project administrator in order to create this. Um, so we click on the settings there, and then we um, click this button here, create approval workflow. Um, now, uh, the first step to creating an approval workflow is um, selecting the client, the uh, steps in the approval workflow. Um, sometimes you may have a, a, a system where um, you have have to have initial reviews, resubmit, final review, etc. For today's example, um, just to keep it simple, I'm going to choose the one-step approval process. Um, okay, so let's go with that. Now, um, in order to create um uh the approval we need to give the oh, sorry in order to create the workflow um we need to create we need to give it a name so we'll call this one um you know, how about we call this one uh, we'll call this one joinery shop drawings um now you can give it a, a description i might just leave that out for today. Now, the, the next thing you need to do is select um, who will be eligible to um, to submit documents for this workflow, and that's called the initiator. So I'm going to select um, uh, user 04 here, maybe given a few other people. And the next step is to choose who will be um, responsible for approving the work, the uh, documents that have been submitted. Um, so in that case, we'll just choose one person. And we also have um, an allocated time um, that that's allowed to happen in. And I'll show you in a minute um, where that is um, uh, registered. So um, the next thing to do is um, choose these uh, file review statuses. You don't really get a lot of choices in here. It's just um, uh, whether the thing's approved, um, and uh, you get a little green tick icon here, whether it's rejected, cross, or approved with comments. Um, the next step is um, the actions that you might want to take. So for um, a shop drawing process, um, it's useful to use this tool here um, where we can select, um, we can uh, copy the, the approved files to a particular folder so it becomes quite clear um, when something's, say, ready for construction. So I'm going to tick this button and then select a folder. So I've, um, I'm selecting now from the folders inside the project. We've got all of the various different consultants here and we're going to um, select our joinery consultant and I've got a, um, a folder ready here to pop the approved shop drawings in. Um, the next thing that you may want to do is to um, is to uh, update um, the attributes um, on the uh, on the process, and I'll, I'll show you show you what those are in a minute. Um, and then you can add a few additional notes if you if you need to. So once we've um, put in our workflow settings, we go save, and that's now. Uh, an official workflow. Okay, so um, let's 
Um, let's now just have a quick look at those attributes that I was talking about. So the attributes are kind of like the metadata of the workflow, and that's what these um, these things are up the top here. So we can see here we've got a status attribute, whether it's open or closed, an ID, which round the um, the workflows in, um, what the what the name of the workflow is, what the workflow um, uh, the workflow uh, actually is. Um, who who the workflow has been initiated by, who um, is responsible for taking the next action, and then when that um, when that due date is on, and some other attributes along here, whether it's approved, rejected, and a little um, progress status bar. Um, so in order to initiate a review, um, we um, need to submit some drawings. So let's, for example, imagine that we're acting on behalf of the joinery contractor. So I've got them logged into um, a different uh, web browser here, just so we can, um, so we're now uh, acting as a different user. Um, so what I would do is I would go into my, um, my shop drawings that I've started creating. Um, and then the next step is to um, click on a couple of drawings. So let's say we'll We'll click on that, and you can you can um, submit multiple drawings in a in a in a workflow. So let's just do a couple a couple of random ones there, um, and then the next thing to do, I just need to expand this a bit more. Let me just um, the next thing to do is to right click on on these and go um, submit for review. And that will um, bring up this window. Um, you choose the approval workflow. So let's choose the approval workflow that we just created, joinery shop drawings. And um, we can see here the format of that review. It's a one-step approval. Um, we can see here the action upon completion that um, the project administrator has set up for us. And we'll give this a specific um, view uh, review name For example, and we can sort of see here there's a preview of the, the files that are being reviewed. Once we go submit, we'll um, get a uh, prompt to say to ask if we want to send an email notification. So we probably want to notify the reviewer, but maybe we'll um, just pop in some other key stakeholders that might be on the project and any messages that we um, would like to. Uh, and send. So let's send that. Okay. Now, popping back into my initial window. So I'm logged in here as the architect who is um, uh, um, going to be reviewing these shop drawings. Um, now, in order to see my new review, um, you can see there I just refreshed the, the window and I can now see that a new review has been um, created. Um, so we, in order to start this review, we can um, click into this. Now, um, you'll get a little prompt up here that says, do you want to start the review? So let's um, begin this review. Okay, and we can go start review. So once we have, once we're in, inside the review, we can click on these drawings and, um, and mark some things up. So once you click on a drawing, it'll take you into the the um, the, the uh, markup screen, and you can um, you can sort of add a few things here, add some text, um, um, et cetera, et cetera. If you're if you're happy with that, um, and then in order to exit out of the markup screen, we just click this exit exit viewer. So once you've gone through and marked up all of those drawings, um, you click on your review status. And we'll say this one here we've, um, I think this one here we've approved with comments. And then this one here, let's say we've just approved those. Um, now there's another, um, there's another setting up here where you, you have the option after you started the review to delegate the review. So if the review has been sent to you, 
um, but you need a different user to, to review it for you, you can click on that button and assign it to somebody else. Um, once we've uh, finished our review and we've given our, our review a status, um, now you have to give it a status in order to submit the review. So even if it's rejected, for example, and it needs to be resubmitted, um, that's what you would do in that in that case. So let's submit the review. Um, here's our final review. Um, any notes that we want to add in? And click submit. Um, we can also choose to notify additional members um, who might be curious about how this review is going. Okay, and then we've so we submitted that and it's popped down. Now we can see here, once that stops spinning, the review is now closed. Okay, so now once you've created the review um, and uh, if, for example, you want to send a trans, uh, if you want to um, send the files off to somebody, say for the joinery contractor, they may not be on on docs, and you've just got um, the project manager, for example, who is um, who's been uh, managing this for them. Um, you can click the transmit button, um, and then we would enter a transmittal name, um, enter the recipient who it's meant to go to. They will need to be loaded into the project. Um, and um, we select the files that we would like to be transmitted. And here we have the, the files there. Any messages, um, email myself a copy, and then we create that. And then that will um, allow you to, if I pop into my email, If I've, I've been given an email for this, um, and then I can view that transmittal. In conclusion, this is a very simple workflow. I um, hope it just gives you a little bit of a taste of um, how this sort of thing works. But I'd just like to encourage you to think of uh, all of the different types of things you can, can review. Um, basically, anything that can be uploaded to um, Autodesk Docs um, can be reviewed. So for example, um, if we go back to reviews here, in this um, review procedure here, I've submitted the entire architectural model for review. So if we pop onto that, um, we'll see here that we've got the whole architectural model for review here. And you'll see these um, yellow points here, which are called issues. Um, don't have time to go into that today, but I'd encourage you to, um, to look up the issue tracking process video that we have on BIMCO Bytes. Um, and that's a way of, um, that also plugs into uh, clash detection and, and those sorts of um, funky things. Um, if we were, for instance, to, um, we've been given the task clearly to review these three um, issues here. Um, if I click on this, then I'll be able to um, add a markup to that and um, you know, add some comments or, or whatnot. Um, And then in order to uh, cancel out of that review, then again, we just hit the exit viewer.